Hey gang, and good Monday morning. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Uh, I had a busy, busy, busy weekend. Saturday, we worked. Sunday was just a crazy ass day. We were out, uh, the wife and I, I should say, were out all day. Uh, we had to go out for her sister's birthday. Uh, then the, I had to go over to my mom's house uh, because she wanted to see her grandson, obviously. Um, so did, did way more eating than I probably should have. Um, so it was uh, a full effect cheat day yesterday. Uh, we gained back a few pounds. Uh, so, you know, if there's one thing I can say is always be careful when you go over to your mom's house because they're always going to want to feed you more than you want to eat. <laughs> so, you know, be careful of that. Uh, but no, it's, it's in all like seriousness it's it's a good time it's it's fun you know i don't get to eat like that very often so i you know you take full advantage of it and you know okay so i gained you know back a few pounds and yes i'm sure you you're all like when is this kid actually going to lose some weight and trust me i'm going to lose some weight we're we're on it um we are going to the gym right now uh for some fasted workout uh gonna hit upper power day week 13 which means I can take my uh, which means I will be showing you guys updated physique uh, progress this week um, I know I mentioned that last week but I I forgot that 12 weeks isn't 90 days that 13 weeks is 90 days so I wanted to wait until 90 days was up before I did that so by the end of this week you will be seeing a physique update I can tell you that as of right now um, uh, because of the PHUL program and building all kinds of muscle, um, I've gained about seven pounds, but I actually look slimmer than I was when I first started. So that is some good news. Uh, but like I said, we're, we're headed to upper power day today, which is the first day. Um, and then, you know, starting the work week, you know, just getting into the flow again, never miss a Monday. Um, you know, had a, had a, uh, wasn't able to go to the gym on Friday just because of, uh, doctor's appointments and stuff so I ended up doing a lower hyper day at home because I have I have some dumbbells at home I have some equipment at home so I was able to not lift as heavy as I would have liked but I was still able to get some volume in uh, still able to do something and that's uh, something I want to mention too is you know sometimes there's gonna be things that you know life throws at your way that's gonna you know ruin your gym routine um, not ruin it, but it'll, you know, throw you a curveball and throw you off. And one thing I want to mention is, you know, make sure that, you know, you add the gym into your life. Don't center your life around the gym, you know, have fun, go with the flow. Um, you know, when life does throw you a curveball, do your best to still hit it out of the park. You know what I mean? Don't, don't center your, like I said, don't center your whole entire life around the gym. That's just, you know, it's not fun. I mean, you want to make sure that the gym is fun. You want to make sure that it's only a small portion of your life. Um, you know, as far as you know, building muscle or losing weight or whatever the case is. So think about that, and we'll see you guys in the next clip. Well, that sucked. Upper power day did not go nearly as well uh, as I had hoped. Uh, it's probably like the worst workout that I've had in a while. Uh, felt so weak today. Now, granted, it could be because of, uh, you know, kind of pigging out yesterday at mom's house uh, last night. But in like halfway through the workout, I didn't really feel all that great. So I went uh, a lot lighter with most of the exercises than I usually do. Um, just to try to get the, you know, the work in, the volume in. Um, I, I, like I said, I, I just still wanted to get it done. I didn't want to just like leave and say screw it I'll come back I, I wanted to get it done so I lightened up the weight I got the workout in did a little bit of extra cardio did some ab work so I got it in but I'm not happy with it not in the slightest so hopefully upper hyper day uh come Thursday will be a lot better uh but for right now uh probably gonna go home probably gonna give the wife uh, a kid uh, a kid break uh, make myself some post-workout food, stop, low battery. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna go. Um, this iPhone has been acting up and it's been really pissing me off lately. I have the iPhone 5S. Uh, really actually 
thinking about switching over to like Samsung or something. So let me know in the comments below, are you team iPhone or are you team like Samsung G6, Galaxy Note, whatever. Let me know, I'm on my way home. Yay, we're actually gonna head to the store and buy some stuff. So you know what that means. A full day of eating videos coming soon. Do, 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 do. So yeah, we need to uh, stock up on supplies because the fridge is pretty practically empty. And I'm hungry, so we gotta definitely go to the store, pick up some stuff, uh, meat, veggies, yogurt, fruit, uh, to make like shakes, smoothies with, whatever. Um, you know, just try to go as healthy and as paleo as we can because as you know, that's really the only thing that works for me. So uh, we'll see what we get and we'll show you along the way, hopefully. and. Uh, We'll take it from there, so uh, we'll see you at the store. You know, I've realized something. Once you get a car that you enjoy driving, having, I don't know if anybody is like me, but when I have a car that I love, and I love this Passat. Um, you actually look forward to driving somewhere. You actually look forward to going to places. You offer to drive uh, when you want to go places. And a lot of times, I mean, I don't know if anybody is like me, but uh, you know, especially at nighttime when I go for drives or even driving home from work, there's something very therapeutic about it. So I guess the moral of the story is, is if you don't have a car that you love driving, go get yourself one. I'm telling you best thing ever. Hey gang, so it's the next morning. We are actually headed to the gym for lower power day. Hold on a minute. You guys are gonna get sick because of that, huh? <laughs> there we go. But lower power day is today. Feeling pretty good, so we're gonna try to uh, who knows? Uh, leg press obviously seems to be my strongest uh, lift as far as leg day or, you know, any of the lower days. But uh, I think today we're going to try with a little bit heavier weights on the deadlift. Um, you know, try to maybe go up from 135 pounds. Now, I, I have done 185 pounds, but it's really tough at this point. So I think what I want to do is work a little lighter with that, perfect my form, like work my way up with the strength as far as uh, that lift is concerned. Um, and I might kind of do that today with the hack squat. Um, I'm thinking that I might go a little bit lower than I actually can, uh, just so that I can perfect my form, get a little deeper, get a little bit more work in, if that makes sense. So, you know, my PR on the hack squat is like 410 pounds, but maybe, you know, I'll stick around like 300, you know, and just to, like I said, get that extra work in and whatnot. So, like I said, we're headed to the gym. Um, gonna do my best. Uh, love the power days. The power days are definitely my favorite. Um, but uh, we'll talk to you after the after the fact. <laughs> One thing I did want to mention real quick while I'm headed to the gym here is I want to play around with my uh, my calories, my macros a little bit, just because I feel like I'm not eating enough. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing is keeping, obviously, you know, as as common sense would dictate. On rest days, probably hit between 16 and 1800 calories because that's what I need to burn fat because I'm an endomorph. Um, probably keep it around 100 carb, um, and then we'll do, you know, we'll try to do at least, you know, 150 protein. Maybe, you know, basically that day is going to be 
low carb, high protein, high fat. And then on uh, workout days, whether they're upper, lower, whatever, I think we're gonna do, we're gonna try to get hit closer to 2,000 calories. And then we are going to make sure we have a little bit higher carbs those days. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna allow myself like up to 150 carb that day. So we'll probably do more like a moderate carb, uh, you know, but still like high in protein, maybe a little bit lower in fat just to combat the, um, the extra little bit in, um, in carb there. So I'm gonna play around with that. Uh, so we'll see because I am still, it's funny because I am still, uh, you know, gaining weight, but I'm slimmer. If you look at me in pictures from when I first started the PHUL program 12 and a half weeks ago till now, it's, I'm definitely slimmer, but I've gained weight, which I'm okay with, but we're just going to play around with this just because like I said, I don't feel like I am eating enough. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, lower power day in the books. Uh, what I said before about doing the lighter weights and uh, focusing on form really worked. Holy crap. Uh, I'm going to be hobbling the rest of the day. I did hit a PR of 205 pounds on the uh, deadlift. I just wanted to see if I could do more. Uh, it was extremely tough, but I did. It was a set of grinders, but um, did hit 205 for a set of five. And of course, I got in trouble. Jim doesn't like filming. <laughs> I, try, I was trying to set up like a good angle uh, to actually show it, but uh, Jim said, no, 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 we, we did not like you filming in here. So, you know, for the privacy of everyone else, I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, so in any case, couldn't really do it. Uh, you know, last time it was okay because no one was around, but in this case, there was, you know, several people in the area that I was, you know, lifting. So, Fine, 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 fine. But we did hit 205 pounds. Not too bad for having a really shitty back. Uh, so, you know, like I've mentioned before, I'm going to be working on that pretty, pretty hardcore. Trying to get that up. Uh, that's definitely a weak area. You know, like I said before, uh, hamstrings and lower back are probably my weakest areas. Uh, so that's about all I got. We're going to go home and make a protein or, you know, like a, a post-workout shake. Lots of protein, lots of good carbs. Uh, but as far as this video goes, I think that about ends it. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned because next week I will be, uh, hitting 13 weeks of the PHUL program, or I should say later this week, I guess. Yeah. Later this week. So I will be making a, uh, the next one of these videos, I will have a physique update for you. So stay tuned for that. I promise this time, I promise, I promise, I promise because I'm stupid and didn't realize that the, you know, as I mentioned before, I didn't realize that 12 weeks isn't 90 days. So we'll have a physique update ready. We'll also have a full day of eating video coming up uh, because we went to the store, obviously. Uh, that should be coming up this week as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, thank you for your support. Please hit that thumbs up button because it helps out the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And until next time, we'll see you guys soon.